Hi there. Today we are going to look at Authentic. This is all about authentication and authorization using Authentic. You may ask the question, what is OAuth2? It's an open standard for authorization. It is used to grant limited access to resources. It allows third-party applications to access user data without exposing credentials. It uses access tokens issued by an authorization server. This is widely used in web, mobile and API security for secure access delegation. What is Authentic? Authentic is an open source identity provider for authorization and authentication and user management. It supports OAuth2, OpenID, Connect, SAML and LDAP protocols. This is used for single sign-on or SSO as it's known in the industry. Right, enough said. We have provided a blog page with the instructions for this video. And there is a link down below to that. Now let's get our hands dirty. In our Proxmox server, we have created an Alexi container. This is our container. Inside there, we have installed Docker. You need to start that container and open it in the console. Now we have done that. And in here, we need to create a folder for our authentic, built with a K. Dash P. And then go to that folder. Copy and paste. Now in here we need to create our docker compose yaml file. So to make things simple, we are going to use nano as our editor. So the command is nano compose.yaml. We'll expand it a bit just to make it easier to work. And now we will copy the content from our blog page. Control S to save and X or X-ray X to exit. And then there's another file we need and that is a .env. We will go through these files after we have created them. This will be an invisible file. And the content you will find below. Here it is. This contains all the secrets and passwords. So we recommend that you change this when you do your installation. However, for the sake of this demo, as is, is good enough. Control S, Control X. At this point in time, we want to start the container in Docker in detached mode. In order to start the Docker container, you would run Docker Compose up. However, we want to run it in the detached mode. So the parameter dash D will do that. And this will allow us to get access to the terminal when we are finished launching the app. I'm going to open up Dockage and we see it's up and it was set on port 80. We didn't like that 
So we decided to change our env file so that it would be 8700 and also the other port we would we made that 1443 for secure that is a change we made and then we repeated the whole process again and eventually we got to this screen however we need to do something if you look at the url on the top here it says default authentication we need to go to this url and we have put this in our instructions so here you go in and you put in your email address and your password to create your user And now we save our password. You will then click the create new application. Let's do one for Proxmox. That's fine. And let's create. Now that we've done that, we can close the screen. At this point in time, we recommend that you read the documentation provided by Authentic. We have provided a link to that in our blog page it's over here and click there as you can see this was a very simple installation we didn't have any problems getting it to work we trust you found this useful please give us a like and please subscribe to our channel as we haven't reached our goal yet and with that, we say, Sef Karisto Poli, Baye Danki Totsins, Sayonara Tomadachi.